Welcome to episode 25 of Legend of Dragoon. Today we're going to finish up our excursions in Lohan for right now. First things first, we need to visit somebody. After all, we have the information on what to do with that plant. The thing is, we need a bottle. And there was a merchant that we passed by in part 25. Hey you, classy brother, I have something for you. Yeah, that sounded a little bit off. Anyway... That reminds me, we need something to carry the spring water. Let's have a look. That's my man! You have a sharp eye. I guarantee there are good buys. I want a bottle to put water in. Do you have one? Sure, sure! This one is durable! The best quality you can get! I don't like where this is going. How much? Surprise! It's a super bargain! How about 100 million gold? Da -da -da. Who the fuck am I, Dr. Evil? How am I gonna scratch up that much money in a matter of time? Seriously! 100 million gold? Are you insane? Let's look somewhere else. Hey! Hey, wait a minute! I was just kidding! Don't take me so seriously! How much is the real price then? Yeah, it's about 3,000. Why don't you buy it? I don't have 3,000. Too expensive. Hmm. Well, I'll give it to you at a discount. How about 2,200 gil? Are we. Are, are we. Bargaining for a bottle or yo Jimbo? I'll go down to a thousand. Wait, I think I have a thousand. I'll take it. Hey, you don't have enough money. What are you thinking? Five hundred gil. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yep. Thanks. And now we've got the water bottle. We are ready. And here's the worst part. We have to come back to this guy later on in the game to get a Dragoon Spirit from him. Wow. Just wow. Before we do, let's leave. No, well, not let's leave just yet. Let's go on ahead and save, because you never know what'll happen. And by never know, I mean a yellow bird, blue bird, or red bird may appear. Or even a magic bottle. I forgot about those things. Magic bottles also are those rare creatures. And if you hit and if you like kill them, they will drop a lot of experience, a lot of gold, and some really good items. Problem is, not only are they rare, but if you run into one, be prepared for the fight of your life. So that's why I'm saving. Anyway, who the fuck was that merchant think he is trying to scam me out of some money? $500 for a freaking bottle? Seriously? He wanted 100 million gold! Just... Ugh. I love the theme of Lohan, but there's just way too many shady merchants here. So let's for now bid adieu to this place, because we have to go... To the Dragon's Nest yet again in order for us to get rid of that plant that was blocking our way. Like I said, you really couldn't do anything with that plant until you've beaten Fairbrand and gone to Lohan. And sure enough, since we've done that, now I can make a detour and find whatever it is that was in that chest. And run into a random encounter! Who was it this time? Oh, it's an enemy I didn't even show off before! This is a man-dragon... No, a man-eating bud. I thought it was a magic aura, but it's a man-eating bud. I do believe it has magic, but normally it'll just use physical attacks. 
Don't let this thing fool you, it is not that tough. Three well time additions, especially at this level. This thing will go down easily. If you ran into this thing before you've gotten a level, well, you're gonna be in some serious trouble because that thing deals a lot of damage to low level characters. Otherwise, this thing is piss easy. Anyway, let us see what's in that treasure chest because I really couldn't get that treasure chest the last time. After all, we had to go into the spider's web. And lo and behold, the encounters get high. But thankfully, I cut them out because it was an enemy I already faced. Anyway, let's see what's in this chest. Ooh, chainmail! I need to equip that to somebody. The armor that we have right now is not gonna help us. Anyway, now we're going to have to make our way across this area. And how do we do that? Get back into the same screen we we're in. And we're going to have to go to, I do believe, this. Damn it, random encounters. Seriously. No, not this way. Turn around, turn around. We have to go to... Damn it, pass me, turn around. This way. And now we're gonna play hopscotch and go into this hole. I wouldn't say this hole, I mean we're going into the heart of the dragon's nest yet again. So many visits here. Now, just activate it like you're trying to drink the water. And, we could take this water and actually get out of this place. And now that we have the life water, that plant will no longer be blocking our way. So, without further ado, let's climb up the vines and head out the same way we came in. Well, not technically. We're just heading out where we fought Feybran. Siri, well, Firebran, or however you pronounce that son of a gun's name. It's dead, so I don't really care. And it's also Lavitz's power now, so I really don't care. It was a pain in the ass dragon. That's all you need to know. Anyway, let's jump over the web, jump over the rocks. And head back to the area where... Ah, bollocks. Things just can't go so smoothly, now can they? Now why did I left this battle in? There's a reason. A really good reason. To show you guys what happens... When the Lizard Man actually activates his physical barrier. Normally people would say I would... Uh, I was misinformed, and I probably said a fallacy about the Lizard Man and his physical barrier. There is no fallacy about it. Once the Lizard Man has the ability, wait, actually uses the physical barrier, the only thing that can attack him is magic and dragoon attacks. Don't believe me? Here, I'll show you. It went successfully, but the Lizard Man took no damage whatsoever. And the same thing with Dart. So instead, I'm just gonna throw an attack ball at its yeah, throw an attack ball at its general direction. Since it seems to be weak to magic and all. And now... 
One more attack and that'll be the end of the... Aw, oh, damn it. Okay, that may have been a fantasy, I mean a fallacy on my part. Because I thought that run fast will poison you. No, it actually cast darkness for some reason. But it doesn't matter, it's dead. And that's all you need to know. Anyway. Is there anything else? Yeah. We're probably gonna be spending the next couple of parts in the shrine. And by couple, I mean three or four parts. That's going to be a lot of parts. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm not trying to go fast with this playthrough, but it's because of the battles and the transition into this place. And no, that status that that run fast cast on Rose didn't carry over. So, we have to watch ourselves here because there is a good chance that we may run into a rare character. A rare enemy. So, just enter into the Shrine of Shirley. Wait. We have, we're in the Shrine of Shirley. Even though this place has some very powerful random enemies, there's one other thing this place has. Treasure chests that are fake. I'm not saying, like, Mimic fake. I'm saying treasure chest with insulting words in it. That is. What's up? What is that, anyway? A sculpture of a dragon? Dragon? I hope nothing bad will happen. I hope not either. Take out your Dragoon Spirits! Well, that's one of the other things in Shirley's Temple that we need to know, that everybody needs to know about. Thanks to what happened here in this cutscene, whenever you see that symbol in certain walls, you're going to be healed. However, it's only for a temporary part of time, I mean, a temporary time for one particular wall, because you need it to actually access a different area. Well, you need it up to access a different area. Anyway, let's see the new area, the enemies in this area. Gargoyles. They are dark enemies, and they do dark magic attacks. They will always have the first Initiative. Yep. They're a pain in the butt. But they only have 100 HP. So that's basically a good thing. Oh! That's one! And now for the other one. Well, at least I'm doing better with Volcano than what I did with the first one. It's the other additions that may cost me some trouble. Especially Lavitz or his replacements additions. Because they get faster as you get more additions. Anyway. That's not really much experience, but at least we're almost at level 11. This is one of those good places to grind. Just in case you're not strong enough to take on the enemies here. And yes, we get more threatening signs. And another troll chest. And now we play Hopscotch! And this is basically your 
rock flies area of this stage. That just makes things a lot easier on me. So then. Okay, who is it this time? Let's see when new enemy appears. Ah, uh, not you. New enemy, Crystal Golem. As you're about to see, Crystal Golem's nasty little attack will stun your characters. It also has a nasty earth attack that will nasty earth magic that will deal lots of damage. And if your name is Lavitz, you're gonna be royally screwed. I mean, it does 100 damage to everybody, but it does more to Lavitz than what it does to everyone else. Seeing as how Crystal Golem is an Earth-based monster and all. I would say if you're... Uh, mind and body purifiers for later. You're going to need them. And lo and behold. This is the Earth magic I was talking about, and Jesus Christ, look how much damage it did to Rose. This thing can be rather annoying. What did I tell you? Rather freaking annoying. And all this is just to gang up the Doom level. Darn it! All right, it's time for payback. And that takes care of the crystal golem. I hope the god I never run in any more of these. No, trust me, I will. Anyway. That is the end of part 25. In the next episode, we'll continue our route throughout Shirley's Temple. This is RVMan985. See you guys.